Right now, temperatures are falling fast. 30 degrees. Our chief meteorologist, Albert Ramon, is back in our first alert weather center with the look ahead. Albert. How about the last three days, though, including today as we made it to our warmest level so far for 2022. The uh, last time we were this warm, the mid to upper 50s and near 60 in several spots was back in mid-December. Now, a front has moved through. That is spilling in the cool air tonight. And earlier this evening, as the front moved down towards the south, it generated a few areas of light rain, even had a couple of reports of some sleep pellets and snow flurries in Cook County as this has now moved all down towards the south of us. So quiet scan on first alert Doppler radar. Temperatures in most locations in the 30s as chilly as 34 Waukegan. There's still a few spots still reporting some low 40s. Joliet at 43. Ottawa and Morris both at 40 degrees and mid to upper 30s across northwest Indiana. The wind out of the northeast off the lake and it is breezy tonight at 10 to 20 miles per hour and will remain breezy through tomorrow morning. That's why we have wind chills in the forecast for tomorrow morning in the teens in many locations. Temperatures 20s in most spots. Again, wind chills in the teens and the winds continue out of the northeast tomorrow, so that could generate a few areas of light flurries with a little bit of moisture coming off the lake. High temperatures, though, significantly cooler than the last three days. We're back in the 30s. We're back below average, at least for one day, because we do see changes as we head into Friday. The winds start to shift more out of the east southeast on Friday morning. A lot of clouds, 20s and 30s to start your Friday. Wind chills not as bad, but watch the temperatures boost back into the 40s for highs as we head into Friday afternoon, which is going to be around average or slightly above average, especially the farther south you go, upper 40s in Kankakee, also in Ottawa and LaSalle County. Then a huge warm up for your Saturday. There's an area of low pressure coming at us from the Plain States. First thing it'll do is back up a warm front across the region. So these southerly winds on Saturday will boost temperatures into the 60s over much of the area. I say much of the area because there's a chance that a few spots down towards the south, closer to I-80, may flirt with a 70 degree mark for the first time this year. The also good part of this forecast for your Saturday plans, it looks like much of the rain will hold off until late in the evening into the overnight hours as this front comes on in, It'll allow for numerous showers, even a few rumbles of thunder late Saturday night into the early morning hours on Sunday. And we think by Sunday morning, much of the moisture begins to pull away from us with some cooler air wrapping on the backside of this low and those high temperatures get back into the 50s to wrap up the weekend. So 62 on Saturday, but we may have to go a bit warmer. Some of the data suggesting we may just do that the next couple of days as the southerly flow will be breezy, bringing in that warm air. 53 degrees and cooler on Sunday with again the best chance of rain this weekend really Saturday night. Now next week something to keep an eye on for Monday. It starts off as rain, but with falling temperatures we have a chance of snow. Some accumulating snow, Eric and Brad, something we'll keep an eye on for Monday afternoon and Monday night. All right. Thank you, Albert.